Hi, it's Celeste, your canary in the coal mine. Today I wanted to talk about our lawns. Um, several of my neighbors have uh, lawn spraying companies come around and you know treat their lawns with the uh, they, they pull up with a truck and somebody walks around spraying chemicals all over the lawn. And I know that the those companies tell you that, oh, just keep the kids and the dogs off of it until they're dry. But the truth is that even after the lawn is dry, it still has the chemicals on it. The only difference is that it's a little easier for the chemicals to transfer to the kids and the dogs when they're wet, but they're still there. If they weren't still there, they wouldn't be doing their job. So it, it just troubles me to see people who I know have kids in their house using these long chemical companies. And another thing that we don't want to be using, well, there's a lot of things we don't want to be using on our lawns if we want to be healthy. Another one is Roundup. Roundup is a great tool for spraying the cracks in your driveway and stuff so that they don't have weeds growing in them. But unfortunately, that's the stuff that is being sprayed in massive quantities on our field crops like wheat and corn and soy and sugar beets. And we're getting massive doses of this stuff and it's not good for us. So I, my understanding is that there's maybe one or two companies that do spray lawns but they, tr they try to keep the, whatever they put on the lawns to be good for you or at least not so harmful to you as your average one. So you probably want to do some research on that. I don't personally know what um, those, that company is, but I, I do recall hearing that there is at least one or two companies like that, that maybe in major urban areas you can find somebody who you know, really puts better stuff on your lawn. Um, I just wanted to bring it to your attention though, if you have kids and pets, um, pay some attention to do this. Don't just let these companies come and spray your lawn because your kids and your dogs will be playing in that stuff and it's just another way that we're getting toxic ingredients into our bodies. So that's, um, oh and speaking about getting toxic ingredients into our bodies, in the last hundred years or so there are so many new chemicals in our environment that there's some shocking statistics that the average adult, when they check them, check their blood, I guess, for toxic chemicals, they find over 700 toxic chemicals in their bodies. And even in newborn babies, straight out of the womb, they check the um, umbilical cord blood and find as many as 200 toxic chemicals in a brand new baby. Baby hasn't even had time to be out in the environment or eating the food yet, and it's already got 200 toxic chemicals in it. So I feel like there, we're, we're so inundated by toxicity that we really have to be alert and aware and try to reduce every conceivable pathway we can where toxicity is arriving in our lives and into our bodies. And so lawn care is one of those areas that may, you know, we all love to have beautiful lawns and stuff, but maybe it's not the best thing for our health. So that's what I wanted to tell you about today. And I want you to get well and stay well. Thanks.